What's up guys? We're back in the garage. Today we are going to wrap up our tire balls and the tires install. So first off, I want to give a shout out to my buddy Mark Batson. He's a guy I raced with. Same class in GNCC, Senior A. Me and him have been racing together. I've known him for a long time. Awesome guy. Him and his brother Dale. Great guys. Great racers. Um, we have the single inflator. You can see right here. So you can get this, which is obviously a lot cheaper. But it does take a lot more time. I do have one of these on order. It's the multi-port inflator. So like I said, a huge thanks to Mark for shipping this out to me. He two-day shipped it. So we're going to get this done, ship it back to him. I'm going to give him some goodies for a thank you. Um, we have one on order, guys. Just like all the other stuff, it just takes time. But we'll get ours eventually. But I wanted to get this done so I can have these tires. I want to use them, obviously. Brand new tires. I want to have them ready to go right there you guys can see if you missed that video if you missed that video it's like it's there or i don't maybe it's there i don't know it's somewhere up there so watch that but this video is going to be the full install on the tire balls we have our tire balls right here these are the rears you can see and then these are the fronts we have some tire lube we have our multi-port inflator we have our tire spoons we will need that bead breaker harbor freight bead breaker just for the fronts 3 8 socket 12 point to do the rings and that's pretty much all you're going to need a set of rubber gloves because it's going to get slippery um we're going to break these tires down we're not going to show you guys that you should know how to do that it's pretty much the opposite of installing them remove the rings fish them out with the tire spoons and then break the bead on the front they come right out uh, we're just going to do one front and one rear we'll show you guys each real time how to do it and that'll be it so let's get to work boys Alright guys, so we're going to start with a front tire, we'll do a front tire first, we'll do a rear tire second, so you need 13 balls, I want to say that's what the that kit gives you, let me just count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, alright, so we got 13, so we're just going to get a little air in them now. It'll make it easier to install them. So we'll get all our ports, just plug them right in. And then we will lube them up. We're also gonna lube up the inside of the tire. And then we will install them and then we'll set them to our final air pressure. We've got our lube right here, they give you one little bottle of lube with each kit. One kit consists of just one tire, whether it's front or rear. So I definitely gotta give a huge shout out to the people at Tire Balls East, Casey Greek, Mark Harris. Huge thanks to them for supporting me this year. Alright, now we'll see uh, 
fill them up a little bit just so they can take kind of a little bit of a shape. I've got a couple that aren't filling. like they are all filling up so we will go get our tire so I'm just going to show you guys I'm just going to lube up the inside of this tire and then I'll wipe it down with a rag just so it gets it gets a good coating I have a good supply of lube thankfully Lots of it. Mark Batson is actually the same guy I buy my lube from. He gets, uh, he gives it to me in like a gallon jugs. I just buy it from him. It lasts me. Jeez, I still have the same one going on well over a year. So, so we've got the inside of this, lube it up to make the install easier. And then we're just gonna kind of coat all the balls. You guys will see, I'm just gonna grab them with this rag and just coat them. Get them nice and greasy. It'll make the install a lot easier. All right, I've got my tire here. So we're just gonna start putting the balls in the tire. And I like that. Try to slide in there. Luckily, this stuff is really slippery. It should go right in. I'll try to get it up here. Get more of a gap. Size. I don't think I need that much. I actually wrote down. I wrote down the air I gotta put in, so let me just check my phone quick. For the fronts, five and a half in the front. So we got six, so I need to let a little bit out. So we need a little more. So right about there is five, five point five. We will run a little bit of air over these things, so you guys can see them all in there. All right, definitely nice with this multi-part inflator. So then what we can do is we can actually shut all these valves off so we don't lose any air. So when you take them out, you don't lose any air. I'm gonna take all these out. All 
All right, and now for the fun part. I'm going to uh, get this on the rim. I'll show you guys that. All right, guys, just keep in mind, you match up your front tires. You make sure you got the directions the same on each one. We did put some lube on the wheel, so we're just gonna stick this in here. And then we will have to work it in with our tire spoons. I'm actually going to do this on the ground to get a little more leverage. So the trick is you want to get the tire in this section right here. That'll allow you to get it around the bead. All right, we got that one in. So basically we're just going to, oh, drop the wheel. Oh, you can do two ways. You can try it like this. We'll just push it down with your knees and that's actually pretty good. Now we'll get our ring. All right guys, just to show you quick, I just put a little dab on all the bolts, a little dab of Nevesis, because this is going to be the final install. So it could be a while before we take them apart. This will make taking them, taking them apart a lot easier. So a little bit of Nevesis, not a lot. You can see I just put a little dab in each bolt. So let's get this ring on this front tire. All right guys, we got our ring. Now we just gotta make sure we put our notch. You guys can see the notch. That's gonna go where our valve stem is. All right, let me get a... All right, this one is ready to blow up and pop the bead. Look at that, a lot quicker that we, when we stretch them out. Plus we had lube on it. I don't hear any leaks. We're gonna let the air out and then uh, fill it up with our proper PSI. And I'll show you guys quickly. With just the balls. So I'm pushing down on it. I'll show you on the floor. That's just the balls, guys. All right, so plenty of air in there if you do get a flat you will be fine now pressures can vary some guys may run a little more on the balls some guys may run a little less this is just the, the uh, settings i was told to use so that's what i'm going by five and a half psi in the balls and then we're going to run a little air over the tire that's five well we're gonna leave five in it for now just so they see i want to see what this looks like too Oh, that's actually nice. All right, so I think you can probably run any pressure of air you want. If you want to, if you want to run the seven, you can run the seven. I'm gonna keep it at five, let these sit overnight. Um, but let's get a rear going now. All right, we'll get all these plugged in. So we are going to do four and a half PSI for pressure in the rears. So we can actually uh, and actually I, I just re-looked at my info. We're gonna run six PSI of air in the front tire. So I have five so I can go back and uh, add one more PSI. Same amount of balls, 13 balls four and a half PSI. And then I think it said two and a half pounds of air in the rears over this. So just be careful when you are putting these in. If you guys do it, just, you don't want to poke this straight through. You could put a hole in the other side of the ball. So I'm kind of like angling it up and then in like that. So it's not going through the back. All right, so we're going to add some air. Alright, here's our 
fresh rear tire. We're gonna just do the same thing, throw some lube in there, and wipe it all around. It's just make the install easier. same thing try to keep all our valve stems facing the same way up like that so much easier with this multi-part inflator versus doing it one by one. You can do it that way. It can be done. Well, this is the way to go. If you can get this last one in. in there now it's time to air them up all right we're going to air these up to four and a half pounds this four this four and a half shut all our oh shit All right, those are all aired up. We can pull all these out. And we'll get the rim in this guy. So make sure you guys, we wanna make sure we have one of these on the outside of each wheel. So just make sure you line it up. This is the inside. That's the outside, so that's the way it needs to go. So these are just gonna push in. You should be able to push them. Oh, actually, first of all, let me grease this wheel up. Grease the inside. This will make it a lot easier. A lot easier. All right. So then, I'm just gonna slide it in. Push it down like so. so we'll do one. One, two, we'll do that three, do this one, two, so one, two, three, there we go. And then you can use the little ones to finish it. And that's it. Just center the wheel. And we'll get our ring, throw our first ring on there.
gonna do our other ring right here. So this one you can see, you will have to push down a little bit on this one for the balls. But it's fine, it'll go right down. Started. So this is no air, no air guys. This is me on the tire. So you can see that's gonna get you home in a race. You can probably go a little more on the balls. I mean, these are new, so I could probably go a little bit more air on them, but this is fine for now. We will throw our main air in here and see what that looks like. We're just gonna go, we're gonna go like two and a half to three. I'm just gonna do it till the knobs are level. All right guys, so that's with air. We will check the PSI just to see what's in here. DNR said two and a half. I may have to run a little bit more just because these are new that's four we're gonna keep it at four for now just to let everything kind of rest overnight but that does look good so we'll go ahead we'll get these next two done and we'll show you when they're all done so let's get to work all right guys that is a wrap we got these things done you can see all the fresh freaking tires right here. As always, guys, I gotta give another shout out to my buddy Mark Batson for supplying me his multi part inflator. That's all ready to go. We're gonna ship that back to him. Huge thanks to Tire Balls. We do have two of each left, which is cool. So if you do pop one, you got one of each in each pack. So we got a couple of those left over. Um, so huge thanks to the guys at Tire Balls, Mark Harris. Casey Greek, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Can't wait to test this set of tires out. Another huge thank you to GBC and Hyper Wheels. This is the best combination on the planet, guys. Rock solid. Doesn't get much better than this. Does not get much better. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it probably took me a good two hours to do this. So the other two tires, I was obviously starting and stopping, trying to get a quick little TikTok video in there. If you guys are not following me on there, follow me on TikTok. It's on Home Wheel 7. Uh, I post all little quick videos before they hit YouTube. So check that out. Follow me there. If you're not yet, subscribe to me on YouTube. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Leave me some comments. And we will see you on the next one. All right? Peace.